Hey y'all, it's Day or De La Soul, and today we're going to be doing a step-by-step -step video of a chunky twist and curl. I actually partnered with My Black is Beautiful, and I will be using their Golden Milk Collection, which is now available in Amazon and Walmart. So first up, like with most of my wash day videos, is shampooing and I am using the hydrating shampoo with golden milk, honey, and coconut oil. For those of y'all who are not familiar, golden milk is a recipe crafted by My Black is Beautiful and it consists of coconut milk, turmeric, ginger, honey, and coconut oil. The coconut milk, honey, and oil are super moisturizing for natural hair and the turmeric is linked to reducing shedding and promoting scalp health and the ginger is linked to promoting hair growth and strengthening hair. So as you guys can see, this shampoo has a very rich and thick lather. I would classify this as a moisturizing shampoo. I was actually able to go ahead and start pulling apart some of these clump knots. And when I rinsed my hair, it did not cause a lot of bleeding at all. So I will say this is a color safe shampoo. And just a tip for my good sisters who have color treated hair, make sure you are using warm or lukewarm water to rinse your shampoos out. Do not rinse your hair with hot water if you want to help prevent fast fading. Next up, I am conditioning with the Intense Recovery Treatment out of the collection. This collection does have a fortifying conditioner as well for intense moisture. However, the Intense Recovery Treatment not only moisturizes, it also repairs and strengthens hair as well. And as you all can see, my hair is color and color can be damaging. So I always go for products that include words like repair and strengthen. This treatment is very creamy and it absorbs into my hair easily and it made my hair feel instantly soft. Now the directions say to leave it on for 15 minutes, however I sat under a dryer for 15 minutes, then sat another 15 minutes or so to just let my hair cool off before rinsing. And this is another color tip, heat raises hair cuticles. And when you raise the cuticles of your hair, color escapes and fades faster. This is why a lot of colored naturals do cool rinses after deep conditioning to make sure that their color just doesn't fade all out. Um, I personally do not do cool rinses, however, I do rinse with warm to lukewarm water. I avoid hot water at all costs on my hair. This is after deep conditioning. My hair feels super soft and these curls are popping and I'm so in love with my hair right now, y'all. And my hair has just done a complete 180 and it's so healthy now. Anywho, next up I'm using the Tangle Slayer Conditioning Cream as my leave-in and I just love how this made my hair feel so smooth and soft. They actually have two versions of this conditioning cream, one for tighter coily textures and another for looser curly textures. I use the coily version and it is formulated to actually lock in moisture, strengthen and elongate curls. It comes out as a cream but when I rub it into my hand it's a nice moisturizing loose consistency. And I actually love the fact that my black is Beautiful is offering two options for moisture for us naturals because some of us do need that extra love and care with products that are formulated to strengthen and repair our curls. My Black is Beautiful actually started off as a community platform with millions of members. It was started by a group of black women and the products are made by black women for black women. It's just certain things like providing alternate conditioning mask and moisture creams that really let me know the product was really carefully crafted with different naturals in mind. Okay, so now we are on to styling and I'm using the curl cream out of the Golden Milk Collection. And it's similar to the conditioning cream in texture. However, this provided a lot of slip and it clumped my curls really, really well. Like I actually want to try a wash and go with this next. I have yet to share a video on how my wash and goes look with a cream. What y'all think? Y'all ready for that? Y'all wanna see that? But yeah, this is lots of slip and clumping made it easy to twist my hair in these medium sections. And it also made it easy to rod my ends without a lot of reverting and uncurling and unraveling from around the rod. The key to twisting curls is to make sure that your hair is thoroughly untangled to help when you're separating and not create a bunch of frizz. It's also important to use products that really help elongate and smooth your curls out so that it wraps around the rod easily. I usually style my hair in four sections and as far as twists, I did about four to five twists in the back of each section. And in the front, I did about five to six in each of the front sections. 
So keep in mind, everyone has different densities and with different densities, you get different results. But for me, when I twist in bigger sections, I normally get a bigger, more elongated curl pattern. Whereas when I twist in small sections, I get more defined curl patterns. Both are perfectly fine and beautiful. It really just depends on the mood and my preference. So I twisted this all over and sat under a dryer for a bit, which is optional. Then I air dry overnight and this is the next day. I got soft moisturized curls with a nice flexible hold. All right, y'all, so this is my final look, and it's a 10 out of 10 for me. The shape, the definition, and the shine is popping. What y'all think? Let me know in the comments. Okay, y'all, so it's a wrap. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Let me know if you've ever heard or tried the My Black is Beautiful brand before in the comments. Also, do not forget to subscribe if you're new, and make sure those notification bells are on. Bye!